Hey, Crypto Wizards, Sean here. So where can you actually buy an option to trade Bitcoin? So in the last video, we gave an example of how you could use options. So if you own Bitcoin and the price goes up, you make a profit. The more the price goes up, the more profit you make. Obviously, the more it goes down, the more money you lose. We don't like losing money. So we discussed that you could buy like an insurance or a put option contract against your Bitcoin and that will insure you against any losses. So your losses are capped. Now, if you haven't seen that video, go back and watch the previous video. However, this video is about where can you actually buy this vehicle that allows you to magically hedge your risk? Now, the good news is that we do have a leader. So Ledger X is now approved by the CFTC. So the Commodities and Futures Trading Commission uh, has approved Ledger X in the US. So essentially, if you are a financial institution and have a lot of money behind you, and you are based in the US and banked in the US, you can use the LedgerX option chain. I'm not a financial institution. I'm a retail trader, as I'm sure most of you who are watching this are too. But the reason I wanted to mention LedgerX is because it's basically just launched. It's the first of its kind. Uh, it's been approved by the US regulatory bodies. And so it's a very good indicator that options will be coming to cryptos and Bitcoin. Now, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, there was so much buzz around the futures markets. It's like, hey, the CME, they're going to do futures. Well, hey, Bitcoin price is going up, 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 because now it opens the door to institutional investing and looking at speculation on what the open interest is for the futures market, etc. But what about options? Options are not futures. They are different. An option gives you the right, but not the obligation. Futures contract is essentially an obligation. Uh, which we'll talk about in up and coming videos. So we're interested in options right now. Now, will the CME group also list options on Bitcoin futures? CME will not list options initially, but will reassess once the futures market develops and a customer demand evolves. OK, so where does that leave us? Let's move on. So the Chicago Board of op Options Exchange have also said that they are going to link in with Gemini. So the Gemini Exchange, who I think is owned by the, the Winkle, uh, Winkle Boss Brothers. Um, it's on this uh, post here, actually. I'll, I'll put a link for it. Uh, but essentially, they're teaming up too. And actually, the CBOE is likely to get into the futures market before the CME does. That's the sort of feeling out there right now. Now, they have to all go through a lot of regulatory checks before you can trade futures. But what about options again? Well, they're quite clever here because, you know, they're saying that you will, they will open up more options for trading, but they're not saying that they will allow you to trade options yet. So where does this leave us as the retail investor? I just want to buy options. Well, sadly, if you want to buy options through a safe regulated exchange or platform, I don't believe it exists right now, but I do believe it'll exist between the next one to three months. That would be my guess. Now, does that mean that you can't buy options? Nope, because who is regulated on the Bitcoin exchanges right now? So there are other options there. Uh, Deribit, for example, has an options chain. I'm really impressed with the platform. I hate the spreads. They're disgusting. Um, you know, some spreads on liquid options out there for, say, stocks are like one cent or one dollar. We're looking at about a hundred dollars on the bid and ask spread here on Deribit. So for me personally, I would not be buying options here because if I had to liquidate that position quickly, I'm already out a hundred dollars and I'm, I'm relying on there being liquid opportunity there. I know when they set up Deribit, uh, the people who started it, I think, over in Europe, Essentially, they were funding the platform with their own money. They were providing the liquidation, uh, the not liquidation, the liquidity. So it's um, it's a tricky one. You know, the options are also very expensive. The implied volatility is huge, which if you're selling options is great. But selling options, unless you're doing it correctly, can be extremely high risk as well. So, you know, it's an interesting one. You can go and buy options today. Here are the strike prices for the options. Here's the price you would pay. So you could use Deribit. Would I use Deribit? No. As much as I like the platform, you know, I, I would like to hedge myself safely. For example, if I bought Bitcoin and then bought this put option that we spoke about earlier, only to find I couldn't liquidate it when I needed to, or something happened with the platform on the, or the exchange that's not regulated, all of a sudden I have no insurance and protection. 
So is it a smart way to trade uh, and, and to own Bitcoin using Deribit? If, if your attitude to risk is more risk prone than mine, then it might be fine for you, but certainly not fine for me. So there is one other option, um, <laughs> if binary options trading. Now, for me personally, I would not recommend this to anyone. The maths and the odds are significantly stacked against you. For me, you might as well walk into a casino and put, put your money on green on the roulette. In fact, sometimes you might even have better odds doing that. You would have to be very certain on the probability of the price movement here in order to uh, win. I don't really consider binary options as options trading either, but some of you out there watching this may have considered it. I would advise against it. So the consensus is if you want to buy options today and you're not in the US, you could use Deribit. If you're some kind of institution, then you could use LedgerX. Otherwise, just wait a few months. Now, why am I posting all these videos about Bitcoin options and you can't exactly just go and trade them on an options chain today on, on reputable exchanges? Well, the reason is because you're going to be able to. This is moving very, very quickly and there's a lot of interest in there being options as well as the futures derivatives for Bitcoin. It wouldn't make sense for there to only be futures for a period of time. So other derivatives are going to enter the market too. You're going to want to get up to speed with how the options work. Of course, you can see me playing around here with different options prices to see what would happen to my Bitcoin price and seeing how you can hedge and make money no matter which way the price goes. When the options hit the reputable exchanges, you're going to be equipped with the knowledge you need to trade and to trade safely. So I do not give investment advice. I hope you got a lot out of this video. And if you have any questions, just shoot me a message and I'll get back in touch with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.